Hello folks, this is a quick installation video for the email deck. One of my subscribers mentioned that his email deck was completely messed up after he tried to add a new emulator to his Steam Deck, and that all of the time he spent configuring the emulator was completely wasted. So I think this video will be very handy, especially if you only installed a few emulators at first. After a while, you may want to install some new emulators into your Steam Deck from the Emule Deck. Watch this video, it will show you how to properly add new emulators to your Steam Deck without messing up your existing emulator setting and configurations. The Emule Deck installation is pretty easy. I will quickly explain the installation process here. I will use the V emulator here as an example. First, we need to switch to desktop mode on the Steam Deck. From desktop mode, use your Firefox internet browser and go to Emu Deck official website. I have the Emu Deck linked in my video description. From this website, we can directly download the Emu Deck installation file. Once it is downloaded, we can click Show in Folder. We need to copy the Emu Deck installation file onto our desktop in order to process this installation. And this is mandatory. Then we can double click on the Emu Deck installer from the desktop. Click continue on this pop-up window to confirm this installation. Let's select the custom mode here, which will give us more option to set up the Emu Deck. Then click continue. I highly recommend to use SD card for your emulation games. Even with E1 type SD card, it works perfect with Emu Decks. So we will pick SD card as storage here. On this page, obviously, we need to select Steam Deck. On this screen, it shows all emulators that are currently supported by Emu Deck. I will disable all the emulators except for the V emulator, which is called Dolphin. Also, I would like to point out that if you already have emulators installed on your Steam Deck, you should uncheck them on this page. Otherwise, this installation will overwrite your existing emulators. You can always come back to this page and install any emulators that you like later on. Then click continue. On this page, make sure you turn off the emulators that you have already installed on your Steam Deck. If you forgot doing this, the Emu Deck will overwrite your existing emulator settings. So please keep this in mind. I will only leave the Dolphin emulator on here. Then we can click on continue and move to the next page. On the next couple pages, you can pick any options you like. It's all about your personal tastes for the emulation game. You can pick any emulation station theme here. I personally like the RB simple style. Then click next. On this page, I don't want to install any homebrew, so I will just select no here. Then just click next. This is the new page that Emuldeck just added, and I think this is really helpful. This page will basically tell us what will be installed and what will be configured on our Steam Deck by this installation. So please make sure you check everything here before you click on the finish button. It is very critical to check here to make sure any of your existing emulators are excluded under the first two columns. If you forget to exclude them, this installation will overwrite your existing emulator setting and configurations. After you make sure everything is correct on this page, then just click the finish button to process the installation. The Emu Deck now starts processing all the installation. It will take about 2 minutes to complete everything here. After everything is done, we can click Exit. Now we have completed the Emu Deck installation on the Steam Deck. The original Emu Deck installer is now changed to Emu Deck access icon on the desktop. That's all for the Emu Deck installation.